I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The reason I call it that is because we're going to simulate a dealt hand by selecting random tiles. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand, which is the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls, and we'll alternate between being the dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13 tiles, and then 14 tiles. We have a flower, one of each dragon, one, two, five, six in cracks with a pair of twos, four, nine in dots, three, four, six in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start right here, the pair of twos. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. So I would start here and then look at the rest of my tiles and keep tiles that can be used with the pair of twos. I would probably keep the dragons just to see what comes through because we do have some potential for a year hand. We also have some potential for evens. That would leave one, five, nine. If we were to play two, four, six, eight, we have a gap, no eight. So I would not focus on probably the six. These sixes probably would go since we have no eight. The sixes are not going to be helpful, but the one could be helpful since we're keeping one, two, three, four, maybe the five could be helpful. So one, two, three, four of some kind, the five, there's a big gap between two and five. So probably I would pass the five so that I'm not passing like numbers. So that's where I would start with these tiles. Target the two, see what comes in. And I wouldn't pick a hand, I would gather. One, two, three, four. Look for a potential here to use these dragons, whether it be one, two dragon, or maybe a year hand. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. We have a west, a red dragon, two, five, seven in cracks, four, five in dots with a pair of fours, three, seven, eight in bams with a pair of threes and a pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the multiples, but they're not gonna all go together. We have three, seven, and a four. Since we have consecutive pairs, three, four, I would probably keep the fives. And the seven here would probably end up going away, and I would focus on two, three, four, five. Since we have no flowers, I probably would not keep the dragon. 
So I think what I would do here is discard those and see what comes in. If we get a six bam, we could maybe play four, five, six, seven, and then let this go. But I wouldn't pick a hand. I would just hold these multiples and see what develops and just start one pass at a time. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull two. We have a dragon, four, eight, and bams, one, four, seven, nine, and cracks, pair, pung, one, pair, seven, pair, nine. Then we have a two, three, nine, and dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on probably odds in one suit. This would go away. These would go. That would go. This would go. I would just keep all odds and then probably pass those three tiles. Although I wouldn't want to be left with two fours, so I'd probably pass one of the fours so we have a good start on the next pass. For here, I wouldn't pick a hand, I would gather. We could maybe play the first hand, but we don't have the three and five in cracks. We could also maybe play one, three, uh, one nine with three, five, seven in the middle. We have a itty bitty start right here on three, five, seven. And I would just keep that because it's odd. I would just keep all odds and see what comes in. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull three. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange the tiles to get the lay of the land. I like to arrange them in this order. Jokers, flowers, winds, dragons, and then the suits in numerical order. So dots, bams, and then cracks. And that way you can look for the strength of the hand. The strength of the hand will either be something with multiples, so target pair pung if you have them, or you can target the predominant pattern, which will be one of the categories on the card. And then set aside your discards so that you can begin to develop the hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.